I Love Guinea Pigs, written by Dick King Smith and illustrated by Anita Jaram. Look how cute they all are. There's a silly old saying that if you hold a guinea pig up by its tail, its eyes will drop out. Well, of course they wouldn't, even if you could, which you couldn't, because guinea pigs don't have tails. And they aren't pigs either. They're rodents, like mice and rats and squirrels. Look at the caption at the top next to the pig. It says, what do guinea pigs have in common with pigs? The males and females are known as boars and sows. If you look at the caption on the bottom, it says rodents have special front teeth that are great for gnawing things. These teeth go on growing throughout the animal's life and are self-sharpening. As for the other part of their name, guinea pigs were first brought to Europe about 400 years ago by Spanish sailors, probably from a country in South America called Dutch, Guine Dutch Guiana. And the sailors called them Guiana pigs. In fact, the guinea pig is a member of the Cavi family, and its Latin name is Cavia porcellus, which means a piggy-looking cavi. Anyway, whatever they're called, it's the way they look that I've always liked. They're so chunky and chubby and cuddly, with their blunt heads and sturdy bodies and short legs. They come in tons of different colors, and they can be smooth-coated or rough-coated or long-coated, not to mention the other varieties. I've had hundreds of guinea pigs over the last 50 years, but I've always liked the Abyssians the best. Guinea pigs are such sensible animals. They're awfully easy to keep because they aren't fussy. They don't like the cold, of course, or the damp any more than you would and they're not happy living in a pokey little place any more than you would be. But as long as they have a comfortable, warm, dry place to live, guinea pigs are as happy as can be. Look at the caption at the bottom. It says, guinea pigs like a really big roomy hutch, or better still, a wire pen out on the grass. They're hardy animals and don't often get sick. Properly cared for, they can live a long time. I had a crested sow named Zen. She lived two years with me and then eight more with one of my daughters. People's hair grows whiter as they age, but Zen's grew darker. If you look at the caption on the left under the girl's foot, it says, most guinea pigs live for about five to eight years. Guinea pigs need plenty of food. They love eating, just like you do, and feeding them is half the fun of having them. Some people, of course, feed them nothing but hay and pellets from the pet store, and they're just fine. But how boring a diet like that must be, both for the piggy-looking cavy and its owner. I always used to give my guinea pigs lots of other kinds of foods as well. Cabbage and cauliflower leaves, carrots, pieces of bread and apple peelings, and wild plants like dandelions and clover. I gave them water too, of course. Guinea pigs need clean drinking water every day, and their water bottle often needs washing because they like blowing pieces of food back up the spout. One especially nice thing about guinea pigs is that if you handle them regularly, and carry them around, stroke them, talk to them, and make a fuss over them, they become really fond of you. Look at the caption on the right. It says the correct way to pick up a guinea pig is with one hand over its shoulders and the other supporting its bottom. Another nice thing about guinea pigs is that they talk a lot. When they want food or water, they often give a sort of whistle, sometimes low, sometimes loud. Boars say chudder when they're squaring up for a fight. 
So do sows when their babies pester them too much. Other things guinea pigs say are put, chuck, tweet, and durr. But when one guinea pig says purr to another guinea pig, it's as plain as the nose on your face that it only means one thing. I love you. And that brings me to what's best of all about having guinea pigs, baby ones. Because their ancestors, the wild cabbies of South America, lived out in the open with enemies all around them, their young ones had to be ready to run for it. So the guinea pig sow car carries her unborn litter for a very long time, about 70 days, and they arrive in the world fully furred with their eyes open and their mouths already filled with teeth. Newborn guinea pigs are such a comical sight. Their heads and feet look too big for their bodies. If you look at the bottom, there's a picture of a baby rabbit and a baby guinea pig. It says baby rabbits are born blind and naked and helpless, but not baby guinea pigs. But almost immediately, they show an interest in those two favorite guinea pig pursuits, eating and conversation. Of all the guinea pigs I've had, there were two that I will never forget. Both were Abyssians, both were boars, and each in his time fathered dozens of lovely, big-headed, big-footed babies. One was a bright golden color, and his name was King Arthur. The other was a blue roan named Beach Boy. Both are buried in my yard. There's a solitary apple tree at the edge of my lawn, and I like to look at it and think that under it, Beach Boy and King Arthur lie peacefully, one on one side of the tree and one on the other. I'm not sad about this, just happy to remember what a lot of pleasure I've had from all my guinea pigs. One especially nice thing about guinea pigs is that if you make a fuss over them, they become really fond of you. The end. Hi everybody. So we thought we would share our two guinea pigs, Moose and Milo. And Moose and Milo just got a bath, so they're still a little damp. Uh, and we just cleaned their cage. And you can tell that they are very happy. They have their little squeaks going. And Maddie, do you want to pick one up and tell us about them? Yeah, sure. So this, oops, this is Milo. He is all black and he likes food. He loves, oh, so are you, are you sniffing at me? Yeah. So yeah, he likes eating the salads that I give him, like, let's see if he'll eat one, a pepper. Nope. So yeah. So one thing that is really cute is that the guinea pigs get really excited when yeah, you put them we, back in their cages. We, like, ju we, ju we just like clean their cage and everything, and they like really they get like really excited and they jump up and down when we put them back in their cage. Go ahead. Do you want to put Milo back in? Yeah. Then can I put Moose in? Mhm. Mm Come on, Bubba. He went pressing to his house. So they love running around and exploring. Oh. And, and this guy is Moose. He's got two different sides. One like dark side of his face. I don't know. Can you see it? Mm -hmm. One dark side. Oh, are you climbing up me? So yeah. They get really excited. And when they are excited, just like we read about, they make those little squeakies and those little purring noises. 
And one thing they do, which Maddie and I find really funny, is they popcorn, which is when they like jump because they are happy or excited about something. So right now they're so excited. Their cage is set up a little bit differently. Uh, so they like to explore and run around and check out their new surroundings and they'll get really happy and they'll kind of jump around and play around a little bit. It's really cute. Yeah. Getting some water and just checking out everything that is new to them. Like right now we have their like bedding and stuff. And then we have their house in here. And I think they're pretty tired because we just took them to church. We took them to a pet blessing at church. <laughs> they did. They had a, a full outing today. Yeah, and we gave them a bath, so they're pretty tired. Oh, are you running out? And these are the little toys we have here for them to play with, too. Yeah, so it's like a little piece of corn. Mm -hmm. A little so, corn. So their little minds are interested. And guinea pigs always have fresh hay to eat. Or they should always have fresh hay to eat. So they love checking out their hay. They get in water. Probably peeing in the corner right now. All right, so those are our guinea pigs. Say bye, Milo. See ya. Say bye, Moose. <laughs> See you later.